Hi guys, Ashley from Ash Cash Budget here. If you're new to this channel, I'm currently following the Dave Ramsey baby steps. I am on baby step number two, paying off about $42,000 in debt. And I want to be debt free by 33. So click the little red subscribe button down below if you want to continue with me on my journey. Today is October cash envelope stuffing, the second one of October. This is a pretty big full stuffing, which I was not expecting at the beginning of the month for this to happen. My hands are a little pink because I just took a shower where I added some more hair dye in. Um, that's one way that I save some money. I add a little bit of my hair dye in with some conditioner and I'll put that in and let it soak in there a little bit so it helps stretch it a little bit it's not as vibrant as when i first get it dyed but it helps i'll show you in my budget report uh why exactly i decided to stuff everything i am going to add to every category this time let me count it out for you i should have 365 dollars right here 20 40 60 80 100 20 40 60 80 200 20 40 60 80 300 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65. This is my cash envelope wallet from the Financial Peace University kit that I got. It is the beginner envelope wallet or starter envelope wallet. I always have this link down below as well as the refills for it. So I have pretty much everything in here except for my wallet money. I ended up eating out and that was quite expensive. Um, I think I had $40 from the last cash stuffing. I didn't stuff it last time, but I still have $40. And now I have 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And by wallet money, I mean the regular wallet that I'll carry with me all the time. And this I only take when I need to go shopping or things like that. So $24 I have left and I'm trying to save it up to maybe put towards a new phone in the future, but I'm thinking some money will come from here. I have my phone sinking fund as well, which is more like I'm paying myself insurance. My phone is like three years old. It's inevitable, it's gonna happen, but it's gonna cost quite a lot. So not only with that, but I figure I need to save some of my own wallet money, my fund money to put towards a purchase like that. So I'm trying to, but also trying to be lenient enough on myself so that if I want to go out to eat or something like that, I can still go ahead and do that. So I'm trying to save it. Yes, it's good. I still have $24. I'm going to fund, like I said, everything this pay period. So this will get $20. Since I already have a couple tens in there, I'm going to put a $20 bill. So now I have 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44 dollars in my wallet. Moving on to the cash envelope wallet. Of course, my single gas envelope here. So I haven't been able to carpool as much lately um, and we've been working a lot with my job. When I can, I always carpool with my friend that works with me, but sometimes we have different things or different events going on. So. That's all good, but I definitely had to up my gas budget for the month just because of how much I've been driving back and forth to the next town over. It's about 100 miles round trip. So not only did I use up every single dollar except for my two dollars and quarters that I always keep on hand in case if I need a meter for any reason or emergency air. So I already used up all of the other money so it was just down to this two dollars and I also had to get another tank be well before I ever got my next paycheck this paycheck now so what I did was just adjust my budget that's just what I had to do so I added an extra forty dollars I put forty dollars inside of my tank and I'm thinking that I'm gonna need more if I need to update my budget before the end of the month I will but instead of $100, I'm gonna go ahead and put at least $110 in here right now and see where that gets me. But I always wait to make my last payments, like my extra snowball payment and anything like that until the end of the month. So 
we'll see if I need some more I can adjust it before those payments can go through but hopefully this 110 will get me pretty close to my next paycheck but I did get paid it today so it's two weeks until then so we have 20 40 60 80 90 100 110 so that actually gives me $112 in there with the $2 and quarters. And I just sometimes randomly choose 20s and 10s to put in there just so I have a different variety. Like if I need to go, if I know it's gonna be over $40, I'll take $50 in instead of 60. Groceries was at $14.26. And because I was doing, if you watch my latest grocery haul, I got some stuff at the same time from household and cats. I wanted to make sure there was enough change to pay groceries back and I ended up with too much change. So it's $14.26 but I actually have $1.26 in change here which that's just going to have to go into the change bucket that I'm going to cash in at the end of the year. So all this silver is going to go right in there. So I have 13 other dollars, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13 to start with. Usually it's just the church checks that me and my boyfriend do. We put into groceries and household. But when I make enough money and when I decide that I can make it happen in the budget, I add some of my own money. Plus the fact that I have been doing some extra special dietary stuff that I've been trying out. And I'm not sure what direction that'll go, but I've been using up the money pretty fast. So I can afford to, I'm going to go ahead and put $40 from this paycheck into groceries. So 20, 40 brings me to 20, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, $53 inside of the grocery envelope. Household, the same exact thing. It's usually only from the church checks, but since I can afford to, I'm gonna go ahead and put 20 more dollars in there. I have $87.34, so I'm gonna take that 34 cents out to put into the change jar, which is just the silver that's really in the change jar. And the pennies go to my art business, which I haven't been doing anything with, let's be honest. But they are there, if I want to cash them in in the future, I will. But the silver is what I'm saving, in to cash in at the end of the year. So I do have $87 here, plus the $20 that I'm gonna add from my own personal check, which will bring me up to 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, five, six, seven, 107 dollars. And yes, I've stocked up a lot, but I'm gonna go to Sam's and there's some things that I'm gonna get. So you know how much bulk items can cost. I gotta get like toilet paper, some air fresheners, stuff like that. So that's why I let it pile up because I'll let it roll over and I'll get the things I need when I need them. And sometimes it's just, it's in bulk. So some of that is gonna get spent today or tomorrow. Medical was at 43.09. And I'm gonna add my usual $25, 20, Five, which is always a non-good negotiable. This brings me up to 20, 40, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68 dollars. And I got a refill for my inhaler. So that's like, I know $35. I need to go get pick that up. So that'll be $35 off of this. Clothing was at 40. This is one of the first things I cut out if I cannot put anything in it. And I only put $10 into it when I put anything in it anyways. So I'll add $10 and have 20, 40, $50 inside of clothing. Personal has $10 still, $50 I put minimum every single paycheck, but when I can put a little bit more, I put 100 maximum. So I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. So that brings me to 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, $110 inside of personal. Cats, I got that deal from Albertsons in my last grocery haul. So I spent $9.72 on that. I also got that dry food I was talking about last time. So I only have $2.38 in here. So I'll get rid of that $0.38. Cents. Forgot to put this one away. Anyways, so I'm going to put the non-negotiable $20 that I put every single paycheck, which will give me $21, $22 inside of the cats category. 
And then hair, I was at $15. I'm gonna go ahead and fully fund that as well, this pay period. So I have $20, $35 inside of hair, which means I have funded every single category and I think the max that I usually do it. So this is the max stuffing. Plus I put an extra $10, so it was definitely a huge cash stuffing this time. We'll see how the winter months go. Sometimes it gets slow at work. So I don't know if I'll be able to continue that or not, but November is a three paycheck month. I might be able to fund these a little bit more next month as well. Give this video a like if you liked this. I'll put the links up above to subscribe and another video that YouTube will suggest for you guys and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.